with so much on the line tonight, playoff hockey really brought out the huge crowd to Amelie Arena, packing the stands inside, as Dan pointed out, and fans gathering outside to watch the Bolts, providing that distant thunder, but really right outside thunder, that sea of blue <laughs> and white, wanting to see the Bolts even up the series with the Rangers, and they did that. Justin Checker spent the evening with those fans. He joins us live from Amelie Arena. Keith and Jen, good evening. Been electric all night, both inside and outside of Emily Arena. Thunder Alley erupted after each of the lightning goals tonight. Now that two nothing series deficit to the New York Rangers is a distant memory. Thousands of Bolts fans are now headed home happy. Now it's a best of three series for the right to return to the Stanley Cup Final. Bolt Nation showed up tonight. When the Tampa Bay Lightning hoisted the Stanley Cup for the first time on June 7th, 2004. I was right here on Thunder Alley. I was right there by that pole and going nuts when we won. 18 years later, Bolts fan Jamie Lindsay was back in Thunder Alley for the Eastern Conference Finals Game 4 watch party. I said, we got to score first, and we did, and it just set the tone. The team's recent success has attracted new fans, like the Scoville family from New Brunswick, Canada. Little Miss here, she loves Lightning. She's all about Stan Coast. Just love that he's the captain. You think the Lightning can win a third straight Stanley Cup? Yeah. Why? Because they're just the best team in the NHL right now. While the New York Rangers took a 2-0 series lead at Madison Square Garden, Bolts fans say they feel momentum shifted after the Andre Palat game-winning goal in the final minute of Game 3. They came in the series hot. We had a nine-day break, but we took over now. I was a little scared in that first game, 6-2, but I knew after that uh, like last game, they're coming back. We need another boat parade. So while the Tampa Bay Lightning will return to New York City for Game 5 on Thursday night, you can expect another big turn of fans inside Emily Arena for the Game 5 watch party. Jen and Keith. You bet the Game 5 watch party and the Game 6 back home. It's going to oh be something. Goodness. Thank you, Justin.